altitude uh, about uh, 250,000 feet, relative velocity 5,300 feet per second. Discovery, two engine Ben Guerrero. Roger, two Discovery now can make a landing at the transatlantic abort site, Ben Guerrero, should one engine fail. Still have three good main engines at 104%, three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Relative velocity now 6,000 feet per second, climbing at a rate of 1,100 feet per second. Discovery now passing through 300,000 feet. As all positions here in the Mission Control Center report go. Discovery, negative return. Roger, negative return, John. The call indicates uh, Discovery can no longer make a return to launch site abort. Now 146 nautical miles downrange, relative velocity 7,800 feet per second. Uh, they've passed through 340,000 feet and they're climbing at a rate of 600 feet per second. Now 190 nautical miles downrange, relative velocity 9,100 feet per second. Discovery, press the ATO, select Banjul. Press the ATO, select Banjul. Discovery can now lose one engine and still make a uh, nominal uh, orbit, uh, board to orbit case. Uh, and if two engines fail, they could now uh, make it to uh, an alternate runway at Banjul, the Gambia. And we still show 104% on all three main engines. Group Banjul 109. Roger, Group Banjul 109. And you're pressed to Miko. Roger, pressed to Miko. Discovery now can achieve nominal main engine cutoff targets should she lose one engine. Uh, three up and running at 104%. Fuel cells producing uh, seven and a half kilowatts. APUs at uh, the proper temperatures and pressures and speeds. Downrange now 317 nautical miles. Single engine Banjul 104. Single engine Banjul 104. Discovery can now reach Banjul if two main engines should fail, and uh, that would be at 104% power level rating for the uh, remaining engine. Uh, however, we still have three good engines. Still climbing at a rate of uh, about 70 feet per second. Downrange distance 380 nautical miles. Discovery now traveling at 15,000 feet per second. Press 104. Press 104. Discovery can now reach main engine cutoff conditions with uh, one engine up and running, two failed. Uh, we still have 104% showing on all three main engines. Uh, good performance throughout the system. Downrange distance 516 nautical miles. Relative velocity 18,875 feet per second. Now reach 3G throttling on all three main engines as expected. And we're standing by shortly for main engine cutoff.
The main engine is now throttled back to 86 percent. Relative velocity 22,200 feet per second. Mako 25-9. Mission Control standing by for Discovery to separate from the external tank, at which point uh, they will perform a test objective. We've had good main engine cutoff, good ET SEP. Discovery, we see R1U bailed off, no action required, no ohms one required. Your go for the DTO. Roger, go for the DTO. And ohms one required. That's ohms one not required. Roger, ohms one not required. The R1U referred to as one of the up firing jets on the right side of Discovery, no impact. It's one of the small verniers. Also, uh, the ship will be doing a pitch down maneuver so that uh, one of the mission specialists may look out the overhead windows and photograph the external tank as it uh, falls away from the orbiter. Now 9 minutes 50 seconds mission elapsed time. Good ascent for Discovery. She's uh, currently traveling at 25,840 feet per second. Downrange distance 1,095 nautical miles. 